Let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, an Olympic gold medal champion who now, 21 fights, 21 victories, undisputed cruiserweight world champion, IBF, IBO, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing green with the two-time heavyweight world champion, WBC heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury. Got some Rocky Four vibes there, Apollo Creed. Two seconds we discussed earlier, right here are not considered low. Alexander and Tyson, you both know exactly what I expect. Good luck to both of you. Touch him up. Champion. Seconds out. It's time. Five and a quarter century. Let's make history. Interested to see who's going to hold the center of the. It's all about the jab for Tyson Fury. And, look, and that's going to stop Alexander Nuzzi. Got to make it happen. Two men here. So brilliant. And greedy. Yeah, both targeting the body with the straight shots. The jab. In the past. Who will be the first? Prove fatal. And that's what Usyk does talk about. And with the stakes this high, one mistake. Usyk looks so much smaller in there. Face, as he calls him, a rabbit. But Fury has... Ask him if I'm Fury there, a little double feet. Face by doing this, forcing you to throw when you don't want to throw. That punch go then. Back to work with as Fury's backed against the corner. Not engaging in the, all the foolery. That left hand to the body as well, Usyk. Front foot. I don't think it's going to be long until we see that left hand at the minute. But he won't throw in this Wilder so well in the second fight. Awesome lovely again, that double feint, he used that. Oh, oh big overhand left from Usyk. That's where they were. You cannot do that against Usyk. Oh, lovely. Alexander Usyk. That was uh, oh. interesting. You can see the ring, good left hand to the body. And it wouldn't be long. Crowd, Usyk doing the right thing there, just back up. Oh! oh. Alexander Uzik. Perfect. He just got, he's got Fury exactly where he wants him. On the back foot. He used to fake to the jab and it seemed to be better for him. Did I get too close in and catch me clean? Nice jab. There. Most smooth of choices. Yeah, of course, there's going to be a little bit of a panic there. He has to the feint. He's got to double up that jab there. I also feel Fury needs a commitment in Uzik. And even in the introductions here tonight. And generally speaking, oh, there's a left hand again from Usyk. Back upstairs, smart boxing from Usyk. Good jab back though from Fury, and again, double it up. It's good job, good solid jab. The same. The middle way, as Fury would call him. Smile there from Usyk, and took it. With the ones and twos, and then an uppercut to the body. Back. Doesn't seem to phase Usyk, who keeps marching forward. That never loads up with the shots you see. Fury looking more than once to throw that right hand to the body. He's done as well. Time. That's a lovely little sh shovel there. Oh, the pressure with the feet, which you think is... Hill Stewart in the corner with Fury asking for... Now I sent Usyk to the canvas, but it was deemed a lot in Poland. Just needs to hold the centre of the rings. Just get backed up again. Nice jab, though. He didn't commit to it though, he touched with that right hand. Turn from the hip. Go, go! Mike did even have to work every minute of every round. It's good for Fury again, a little, a little fight than Fury. Oh, oh, like he said, he's delivering with his proper body shots they're calling for. Sick, lean on him, hold it. Hands on Fury there, of course, on the top of the head. Oh, yeah. This is the lightest Fury has been in five years. Lovely work. Lovely jab. In this contest. 50. As you said, Darren, he's starting to flow a little bit more. He's starting to put a bit more. He's working it well to the body. Yeah, Todd, I've got a two rounds to one in favor of all up the back foot. Isn't going to work in this fight. Such a small target for Fury. Nice left. Oh, there's a left. Slipped or buckled it. But again, he elects to fight. Fury had a chance maybe to step on backwards. 
He's got to get a little bit lower there, but slide in the distance. Touch down that left to the bottom. Keep in mind, postponed the original meeting. There's a too much. Music still trying to Fury boxing around, walking him down if he can. And now Lusik letting his hand. Fury, Lusik's making him work. It's a lot of pain. Fury clown around this much, even against less. And there's the man you're watching, Alex. Since Holyfield, Lennox Lewis took the best of the best. Outlanded Usyk by five, but has thrown. I mean, it's close enough now, isn't it? Ooh, Total punches, D more punches. I stab him right hand as well. He's just leaning into it. There's a... Ah, good left. But Usyk's just missing with that over. Yeah. The body a little bit more. The body. man who had a fright against Francis and Diamond. Off his elbow. Oh, punch. I think he's around. Oh, good work. Quite cold, but he covered too tight. Well, the better. He worked really hard here. Fury, but Fury's having. Again, really whipping that right to the body. Lovely bow row. Out of gold is. And Usyk just drag it down. He's really using his reach. Yeah. It's a who's who in the first row. I think it's important not to forget as well. Delt. Yes, yeah, all those faint. That fifth round box lovely. Work in the down the stretch, but that was the best round. After Usyk landed some. <laughs> Just kept losing a bay at times. <laughs> on the front foot and on the back foot, as you can see, target with the right to the body. Oh, right. oh, Andy Lees is saying exactly that in the court. Fury downstairs. Complete control right now, or so it seems. I've been big, big, big. <laughs> All of a sudden, the size difference looks even bigger. Dusik is getting smaller. Hot right now, he should be throwing punches. Yeah, I mean, incredible two rounds. Uh, that right up. Uh, fight. Dusik looks like he might be on his way. No, you got to push forward with all the pressure with the feet. Here, Dusik. Good experience for him, but now he's going to... Into the body or the uppercut. Dusik making him carry the weight. To the chest. Shot. He's some from the, the round. He hasn't thrown it really since. Oh, That's the a boxing ability, the brain of, of Tony. He's out trying to do a job. Oh, right. I'll get shot there. Uh, the left hand of Fury had an opportunity to use it, but a nice little combination from Fury. Box always has been. Which is the key because however fit he is. Oh, there's a left from Usyk. That's just this note to push forward. Strong fit. Corners, yes, 10 beautiful seconds. Beautiful work with that. You're told not, not to leave with the right hand. Let the round for Alexander Usyk. Hey, hey, hey. Moved his 233 pounds. Look how fresh up them. He has had 35 pro fights. For that little step. Well, it's all about making the adjustments. And he's starting to do that little bend in the knees. Right, is this another change in direction? Elephant, that would be the key oh. to the jungle. Not the law. And Fury said no. Being big doesn't mean in there. Silly mistake. The straight shot, and he's working. I mean, I did. Who's he gone to a shot? Oh, 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 Fury. He's got a control. Oh, 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 right. Got the smaller referee for these two heavy hips. Music. Got a mouse under his right eye, and who knows how big that is. Really dabbing at the nose and the eye a lot. Bleed and starting to swell up. What's that do? There's the shot. Three to the body. Whipping it back in. Uppercut. In all its glory. A fight we thought we would never see. Gotta get some out the corner. Oh, laughs. Brooks downstairs, back upstairs. He has success. Fury finding his group. Lucic backed off. Not a good breath there, wasn't there? Oh, there's a right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, go to the scorecard 115 to 112 for Usi. 13, 113 for Fury. To the winner by split decision 114, 113 from Ukraine, Alexander Usi. He's done it! What the Jewish man that made us really. As the boxing world eagerly anticipates the upcoming fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, the clash of their contrasting stances has become a focal point of discussion. Jake Paul's orthodox stance and Mike Tyson's peekaboo style each have their strengths, but when pitted against each other, one could spell disaster. Let's explore why. Jake Paul's orthodox stance. Jake Paul, known for his strategic approach and technical proficiency, employs the orthodox stance. This stance provides him with good balance and versatility allowing him to throw a variety of punches with precision. However, against a fighter like Tyson, who excels in close quarters combat, this stance may leave Jake vulnerable to Tyson's signature aggressive style, Mike Tyson's peekaboo style. Mike Tyson, a boxing legend renowned for his speed, power, and relentless aggression, utilizes the peekaboo style. This defensive stance keeps his hands high, protecting his head and allowing for quick, evasive movements. Additionally, Tyson's peekaboo style is tailored for inside fighting, enabling him to deliver devastating blows from close range. Key differences 1. Hand positioning One of the most notable differences between the two stances is the positioning of the hands. While Jake Paul keeps his hands at a moderate height, Mike Tyson's peekaboo style involves keeping the hands high, providing greater protection for the head and face. 2. Head movement Another contrasting element is the head movement. Jake Paul relies more on footwork and distance control to evade punches, whereas Mike Tyson's peekaboo style emphasizes quick, robbing head movements to slip past incoming strikes. 3. Offensive Strategy Jake Paul's orthodox stance allows for a wide array of offensive maneuvers, including jabs, crosses, hooks, and uppercuts. In contrast, Mike Tyson's peekaboo style is more focused on explosive, close-range attacks, utilizing powerful hooks and uppercuts to overwhelm opponents. 4. Defensive Focus Jake Paul's orthodox stance offers decent defense, but it's more reliant on footwork and distance management. In contrast, 
Tyson's peekaboo style is a defensive masterpiece, with hands high, elbows protecting the body, and constant head movement to evade punches. Why Jake Paul could struggle 1. Close range combat. Jake Paul's orthodox stance is more suited for maintaining distance and using a longer reach. Against Tyson, who thrives in close range combat, Jake may struggle to keep Tyson at bay and avoid Tyson's powerful hooks and uppercuts. 2. Defense. While the orthodox stance provides decent defense, it may not be sufficient against Tyson's aggressive onslaught. Tyson's peekaboo style is designed to minimize openings and make it difficult for opponents to land clean shots, potentially leaving Jake vulnerable to Tyson's relentless pressure. 3. Footwork. Tyson's peekaboo style is known for its effectiveness in cutting off the ring and trapping opponents in corners. Jake Paul's footwork will be crucial in evading Tyson's advances, but it may be challenging to outmaneuver Tyson, who is known for his quick and precise footwork. Or, could this fight lead to a different outcome? Now, let's us explore how Jake Paul's stance might help him secure victory in their upcoming bout. Tyson's Age and Conditioning Firstly, it's essential to consider Tyson's age and conditioning. At this stage in his career, Tyson might not have the same speed, endurance, and reflexes he once had. His peekaboo style, which relies heavily on quick movements and defensive agility, could be less effective against a younger, more agile opponent like Jake Paul. Jake Paul's reach and height advantage. Jake Paul also enjoys a significant reach and height advantage over Tyson. His orthodox stance allows him to utilize his longer reach effectively, keeping Tyson at a distance where he can land jabs and straight punches without being in Tyson's danger zone. This could frustrate Tyson and force him to take risks to close the distance. Movement and Footwork Jake Paul's orthodox stance provides excellent mobility and footwork, allowing him to move around the ring and dictate the pace of the fight. Against an older Tyson, whose movement might be more limited, Jake's ability to control the distance and angles of engagement could be a crucial factor in securing victory. Strategic Adaptation Moreover, Jake Paul has shown a knack for strategic adaptation in his fights. If he can study Tyson's peekaboo style and find ways to exploit its weaknesses, he could significantly increase his chances of winning. For example, using feints to disrupt Tyson's defensive rhythm or targeting Tyson's body to wear him down over the course of the fight could be effective strategies. Conclusion As the highly anticipated bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul looms closer, the intersection of age and fighting styles adds a layer of unpredictability to the matchup. Mike Tyson, despite his legendary status and formidable peekaboo style, is not immune to the effects of age. His once lightning fast reflexes and explosive power may have diminished, potentially leaving him more vulnerable to Jake Paul's strategic orthodox stance. Paul's youth, reach advantage, and ability to maintain distance could frustrate Tyson, forcing him into a defensive position and limiting his offensive opportunities. However, Jake Paul is not without his own vulnerabilities. While his orthodox stance offers strategic advantages, such as mobility and reach, it could be challenged by Tyson's aggressive and relentless attacks. Even at an advanced age, Tyson's peekaboo style remains a potent force, capable of exploiting any openings and capitalizing on mistakes made by his opponent. In this matchup, the outcome is far from certain. Tyson's age adds an element of unpredictability, as it remains to be seen how much of his former prowess he has retained. Conversely, Jake Paul's relative inexperience in facing a fighter of Tyson's caliber and unique style presents its own set of challenges. In the end, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is not just a clash of styles, but also a test of skill, adaptability, and resilience. Both fighters have the potential to win, but it will be their ability to navigate the complexities of age and style that will ultimately determine the victory. Let us know in the comments below if this fight will come down to who has the better fighting style. What will it come down to the age? And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.